This is the moment we've all been waiting for, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Hey, it's FYM Sportsman, it's Lamont, and we are back with another podcast episode, and you know, for this one right here, man, we had to do some investigation and research into some very, very damning allegations that were made, you know, when we participated in another debate on another platform, you know, here on FYF Sports, we like to travel around YouTube. We like to hear other people's takes. Obviously, we debate here at FYF Sports Debates. Um, But we also do a bit of Max Etherin as well. Because we hear a lot of bad takes. Sometimes biased takes. And and sometimes these takes are just simply mistakes due to misinformation. Either way, we must address them. We must call them out. So today, as you guys can see here, we got... All Weezy Bang here in studio. Now, might have been some microphone issues. Mike, Mike not microphone might not be working today, right? Hopefully, we can get him to chime in on this particular topic right here. But there were some very damning allegations made yesterday in a video that he posted. If you guys haven't saw the video, all right, make sure you guys go check out his video. It was a very good live stream. And the title of the video is "Is Steph Curry the Greatest Shooter Ever?" Laker trade talking more and the conversation with regards to the Laker trade talking more just kind of went to the wayside because so many people including myself were so keyed in on this very odd topic is Steph Curry the greatest shooter ever now I can understand some people posing that particular question I actually don't even mind people posing that question with so many great shooters in NBA history But it's starting to become clearer and clearer as each day passes that Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. And every time we doubt him, he does something that eliminates all these doubts. He's literally breaking records every week. He's two shots away after tonight from breaking Ray Allen's all-time three-point record in the regular season. He already leads the NBA playoffs and the most three point three pointers made in the playoffs i mean he's done so much with regards to the three point shot he's innovated the game right he's redefined the pick and roll and how teams even can guard the pick and roll and he's opened the door for guards who can shoot the ball like the damian lillers the trey young the luka Doncic. he's opened up a new wave of basketball that ultimately no one in the nba has really figured out how to defend Now, there are a few teams that have the personnel to defend these types of players, but not every team has these types of defenders. And this is what makes Steph Curry an all time great. But what we got today is this is this is some this is something that, again, after the conversation on our Weezy Banks channel, I almost forgot about this. But then, as you guys know, my homie FYF Fred, he said Lamont. I can debunk all of that. And he says, Lamont, I can bring in a special guest to help you debunk all of that that we saw that you saw on All Weezy Bank's platform. And again, he's a big fan of All Weezy Bank. He watches all the time. But after what he saw yesterday, that debacle, so much misinformation on Steph Curry Penn put out there. He said, Lamont, I got to give you the facts. And so what FYF Fred gave me was He submitted to me multiple pieces of evidence, visual documentation that clearly debunk some of the misinformation that was being put out by Aweezy Bank, unfortunately. 
and we and we gotta hold his feet to the fire for that we gotta hold his feet to the fire so because of that fyf fred brought in one of his best friends i didn't even know these two guys were friends he brought in one of his best friends so that i can't be because i'm so closely affiliated and because i was in the debate i can't make the deciding judgment or i can't analyze the evidence fairly myself i can't critique this so we brought in a non-biased impartial judge one of the greatest in the world to decide on all of the pieces of evidence that FYF Fred provided me with on this particular topic. Is Steph Curry the greatest shooter ever? And what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be reviewing statements and the visual documentation evidence that Aweezy Bank provided to support his argument that Steph Curry is not the greatest shooter. And FYF Fred is gonna be submitting multiple pieces of visual documentation because he says he has absolute 100% full court proof that this was not accurate. It was not factual. And this calls for a max ether. And we have to address it here on FYF Sports, man. So again, salute to FYF Red. Salute to the special guests that we have in the building. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get to the drawing board so we can break down all of the evidence on display today. All right, here we are at the drawing board right here. Obviously, we got the video pulled up. We got a, Beez a Wheezy Bang right below us right here. Um... And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing excerpts from yesterday's live stream on Weezy Banks channel. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to analyze some of his statements, but then we're going to compare his statements with some of the documentation, the visual evidence that FYF Fred says he has to max ether these particular takes. Now, FYF Fred is not in the Hall of Fame, y'all. This would is, this is be first time. The FYF Fred has presented real documentation, right? This is the first time ever that he's just said, I'm going to step up and provide the information for the Max Ether. And he wants, he wants his wrench on the channel, right? I know there's an FYF Fred account out there. That FYF Fred account deserves a wrench. If this Max Ether by our impartial judge, we got an impartial judge in house today who's going to help us decide on the evidence once both sides are presented. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and introduce the judge we got in the play, man. This guy, man, he's known all around the world because he has a popular, a popular show on TV that's been syndicated and running for years. Everybody knows him. Man, we got, we got Mari in the building, you guys. You came here to find out the results of a lie detector. We're going to give you the results, all right? Hey, Okay, here we go. And once again, salute to Mari for pulling up, man. I know that's a busy man. We got him in the backstage. He's just sitting back. He's watching the drawing board himself. He's going to be analyzing all the evidence, and we're going to refer to him on every particular decision. And this decision is going to determine this Saturday if we have to open court back up today, right? And and pass executive judgment on Wizzy Bang for this take right here. Because again, FYF Fred, he, he has never come to me this confident that he can execute a max ether. And, and we gotta take a look at what he has to say. All right, so we got we got Wizzy Bang up, right? He this is his opening statement. So Wizzy Bang's opening statements are right here. Um, so we're gonna critique his opening statements on his video is Steph Curry the greatest shooter ever. FYF Fred says for every statement that our Wheezy Bang makes, he has visual documentation evidence to completely debunk it. And, and, and we gotta see what's going on here. Let's go ahead and play the clip. Clip number one from FYF Fred on our Wheezy Bang. How, how you could be the, uh, the greatest shooter and you don't, you don't really have a lot of clutch shots. You don't have a lot of memorable, memorable clutch shots. You know what I'm saying? We we know Ray Allen got the, the clutchest shot in, in NBA playoff history. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about easy. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but in my opinion, I think that's the greatest shot of all time. Okay, he, he may be, Curry may be the greatest uh, regular season shooter of all time. You know, once he break out in record in, 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 in the coming weeks, because I believe he's going to break it. You know what I mean? 
Um, it's 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 just crazy because all right, there we have it right there. A Weezy Banks opening statements. He's trying to make the case that Steph Curry is potentially not the greatest shooter of all time, and it sounds like he's leaning towards the clutch factor. All right, the clutch factor. So, FYF, Fred, man, this is just his opening statements. I know you can't talk, but what visual documentation? What is the evidence that you've submitted? What is part one of your evidence that you submitted? to debunk this opening statement. Can we go ahead and play that clip? All right, I got you. Here it is right here. Jack again. Got the screen. Curry got the three off. Tie game! Steph Curry knocks it down. Tap by Lee. Back. And Curry's got it. Lee back to Steph. A three. What a shot! All right, let's see what Golden State has in mind here. Down five. Green's got it. Looking for Curry or Thompson. Curry lets Holiday go by, and Steph Curry hits a three. Oh, they're not dead yet. Two point game. Chance to tie it here for Golden State. Curry's got it. And Curry will let it go for three. Comes up short. Offensive rebound. Curry again. And Curry hits a three. All right, so we have it right there. FYF Fred has submitted his first piece of evidence in this particular case right here. Right? A Weezy Bang proposed that in the playoffs, because again, he's a regular season three-point shooter. He doesn't have any memorable shots or clutch moments that propel his team to a win. You know, and again, if you guys remember the conversation that we had, as we elaborated on this conversation, there was a consistent theme that Aweezy Bang was putting out there. And he was saying that he, and he, you put up a graphic and FYF Fred is going to address that graphic as well. He just told me about it. But the consistent theme was that Steph Curry was 0 for 9 in game tying shots. With under 24 seconds on the clock. That was the graphic. He said this graphic was provided by Basketball Reference. We're going to put that piece of evidence up later. Maybe the Wheezy Bank has something, you know, with regards to maybe explain that flawed piece of evidence. But as we can see right here in the video, and we're, and we're going to play it back one more time, right? Just so you guys can make sure there's no finesse, okay? This looks like the Warriors are playing the New Orleans Pelicans in the playoffs. This is game three. The Warriors lead the series. In this particular video, the Warriors lead the series 2-0. This game is in the fourth quarter. 14.6 seconds on the clock. The Warriors are down five points. The Warriors are down five points at this particular point. Now remember, that graphic that he played and... In Wheezy Bang's opening statements, you guys just heard what he said. He said there are no memorable moments or shots in the playoffs. And he even put up a graphic saying that he was 0 for 9 in the playoffs in, in, in game tying or go ahead field goals with less than 24 seconds on the clock. As we can see right here, there's 14.6 seconds on the clock. That's less than 24. Less than 24. We're going to see how Steph Curry executes. We're going to break this down. All right. Steph Curry shoots, shoots it, makes that three. So that's a three. All right. That doesn't put him in the lead. That puts him within two. 9.6 seconds on the clock, three point game. Steph Curry gets it in the corner. He takes the three. Now he misses this one, but he gets it back on the offensive rebound. Should have been an and one. He hits the game tying three, leaving 2.8 seconds on the clock which sends this game in the overtime. And if you guys remember this playoff game, this was the game where the Warriors went on in overtime to dominate. Steph Curry had a big overtime period and they win the game. That right there was clearly a game tying three point shot in the playoffs that Steph Curry made in the playoffs that Steph Curry made. A great shot at that. This is a shot that he could have easily gotten an and one on. 
But this is just one piece of evidence. All right, this is just one piece of evidence. We got to hear the other side out. But the first thing we have to do is now we have to go to our impartial judge who's here right now. Mari, you are in the backstage right now. We're about to go to you live on camera. After looking at these two first pieces of evidence, hearing Oweezy Banks open his statements with regards to Steph Curry, and then after seeing just one single clip that already debunks the entire narrative that he was pushing with regards to one aspect, one, one flawed aspect that makes Steph Curry not the greatest shooter of all time. After looking at both pieces of evidence, can you please tell us your decision um, on our assertion of both of their opening statements? With a lot of technical tests determined, that was a lie. <laughs> I knew that already. I can smell the lies. You guys heard it live and direct right there. After hearing opening statements, the two pieces, two first pieces of evidence that that were presented to us, Mari has presented his impartial decision, and he has indicated that was a lie. FYF Fred is, is up on this particular argument. Um, and if this trend continues this Saturday, we're going to have to open court back up. And we have to pass executive judgment on this bad basketball take by Wheezy Bang. But as you guys just saw, remember what I told you guys earlier? We're just going to go ahead and skip to it right now. Because again, when I was doing that debate, and this is something that Fred brought up to me, one of the strongest pieces of evidence that he used was a very odd looking screenshot off of Twitter that was supposedly from Basketball Reference. Very odd, very odd looking, got very odd looking screenshot that somebody posted to back, or even, I don't know if Basketball Reference posted it or not, but we're gonna go ahead and go to that piece of evidence because again, that was a very damning piece of evidence. That. This, this is what he used to make his entire case. Steph Curry is 0 for 9 in the clutch. Let, let's just go ahead and pull that pull that clip up right there. And we just hear a wheezy bang, break it down. And this is gonna be this is gonna be his second statement with regards to defending himself. Let's go ahead and I hear him out. I appreciate that. But on your screen, what I have, which was just put out by basketball reference. Steph Curry is now 0 for 9 in the playoffs on shots to take the lead mm -hmm. in the last 24 seconds in the fourth quarter in OT. Okay? This Stop. nigga, that's ass. Okay? I don't care how you slice the pie, nigga. No hey, matter how you slice the pie. Now tell me that's made up. Hey, now, I got a question. Wheezy Bang poses, he poses the very contentious argument, he says. Tell him how that's made up. FYF Fred. FYF Fred, can you please present your evidence? Can you please present your evidence? Are you going to tell us how this particular stat is made up? Now, your first piece of evidence already debunks this argument right here. Your first piece of evidence already addresses this. This piece of evidence right here lists multiple games. And it says Steph Curry is now 0 for 9 in the playoffs on shots to take the lead in the last 24 seconds of the fourth quarter in OT. And it shows multiple games. It shows a game against Portland, the Clippers, Houston, another game against Portland, Cleveland, Clippers again, and then San Antonio. So multiple games across multiple years. Yet in the very first piece of evidence that you guys just saw, was Steph Curry in the playoffs, less than 24 seconds on the clock, and he made a game time. Because remember what this, this, this clip says, right? 0 for 9 on playoff shots to take the lead in the last 24 seconds of the fourth quarter. Okay, so what that first clip showed was, because again, he said no memorable shots. That first clip, the Warriors were down five. Steph Curry made two miraculous threes to send that game into overtime, which is clutch, and then had a great overtime performance. But now we have to address this right here. Curry is now 0 for 9 in the playoffs on shots to take the lead in the last 24 seconds. 
of the fourth quarter. FYF Fred, can you debunk that please? Curry fires, hits, Stephen Curry puts the Warriors. You gotta protect the three point line. Curry spins, drives down the lane, ties the game! Season on the brink for the Blazers. Aminu on Curry, behind the back, three-point is up. Oh! Stephen! Curry pulls back, Aldridge picks him up. Curry on the drive, throws it up, shot, bounces around and drops through. Curry crossover, three-pointer, bang! They scratch the game plan on a finishing result of going to Durant. And Curry, the James, they give themselves the opportunity to get the ball back, but they don't have defenders in. Curry drives, count it and one. Curry off the glass and a chance for a three-point play. Chance to give the Warriors the lead and does. Okay, so what we have right there was just one sequence. Now, before we go into playing all of Steph Curry's greatest playoff shots, whether it's go-ahead shots, game-tying shots, shots in overtime. We're just going to play you that one. Because remember, the, the, the statistical graphic that we saw was that Curry was 0 for 9 in shots to take the lead. And what we just saw right there was Steph Curry driving to the basket, not chucking up a 3, which is what he normally does, getting the and 1 and making the free throw to take the lead with less than 24 seconds on the clock. The statistic is flawed. Let's just play it back one more time. We're going to watch the game clock. We're we just going to watch that before we run through a compilation of all of Steph Curry's greatest shots in the playoffs just to kind of just to kind of put tighten the grip on this Max Ether by FYF Fred. But we just because remember the, stati the, the statistic that Bang provided said zero for nine. So all we need is just one. Remember, he's not clutch. He doesn't make shots. He doesn't do anything with less than 24 seconds. No game tying shots, no go ahead shots, anything like that. Let's just see. Let's just see. This was 2018 playoffs. We're going to run it back one time. All right, so we got the sequence right here. You guys see it right here. 2018 playoffs on the screen. We're going to play it. Steph Curry with the ball, driving to the basket on J.R. Smith, hits the reverse layup, ties the game 23.5 seconds on the clock. This That means this is a game tying basket. And it's a go-ahead free throw to put them into put them in the lead. Does he make the free throw? Let's find out. And yes, he makes the free throw, which puts them in the lead. 107-106. Game one of the 2018 NBA Finals. That's less than 24 seconds, which again, I don't know why that particular stat used 24 seconds. Because... I think if you make a shot and you make a go-ahead shot with 40 seconds, that could potentially be clutch. If you make a, any shot less than a minute, I mean, for, for a lot of people in the NBA Finals, if you're in the fourth quarter, the entire fourth quarter be, can be clutch. All right, And we're going to run through all of those highlights as well. But this is just one simple play right here amongst many of multiple clutch shots that Steph Curry has made in the playoffs in major moments. So to say that he's just a regular season shooter... And to completely act like he hasn't done the same thing, if not to a greater extent in the playoffs, is a complete lie. And when people make these fictitious barriers, such as did he make a shot with less than 24 seconds, they make these barriers because who defines clutch as making a shot with 24 with less than 24 seconds on the clock? Why is it? Why did the stat not include shots that he made with less than a minute? Because in a close game with less than a minute, all of those shots are clutch as well. Uh, 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 just like just like FYF Fred showed in the first clip, being down five, making two three-pointers back-to-back to send the game into overtime and then dominating the overtime with 12 points against New Orleans, is that not clutch as well? Do we only define clutch our shots less than 24 seconds? Is that flawed logic? Well, we know for one that that particular graphic is fake. 
doctored, fictitious, and not accurate. We know for a fact that's not accurate because when we played a compilation of all of Steph Curry's, when we played a compilation of all of Steph Curry's big time playoff shots in major moments, clutch, and you remove this fictitious time constraint of making shots with less than 24 seconds on the clock, you will clearly see that Steph Curry is just as lethal in the playoffs as he is in the regular season. And then we're also just gonna show you guys all of his game winning shots, right? Whether it's regular season or not, just to, just to put the hammer in the coffin on this particular topic. I think it's a fictitious fake narrative when you say players are not clutch. Joe Johnson is labeled as a clutch player and the majority of his game winners were made in the regular season. He did not have much success in the postseason, but he's still labeled a great clutch player. Jamal Crawford, big shot maker. He makes a lot of big shots in what? The regular season because he never had major success in the playoffs, but he was still labeled a clutch player. There are a lot of players who lacked these shots or even opportunities in the playoffs, but we still understand that these players are clutch, even regardless of if they do it in the regular season or the postseason. The reality with Steph Curry is that he's actually done both at an elite level over multiple years, over multiple years. So to say that, to, to use a fictitious barrier of 20, making shots under 24 seconds, those particular constraints, you may be able to find a particular constraint to where you can say, oh, he didn't make any shots within this time frame. But making a shot with less than 24 seconds on the clock doesn't define clutch. As you guys will see from these highlights, in the playoffs, he's made big time shots, whether it's game time or go ahead shots in overtime in the playoffs, which is clutch. He's made big time game winning, go ahead or game time shots um, with all types of times on the clock, one minute, two minutes, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. He's made these same shots, but when you put this fictitious constraint of 24 seconds, you can then try to craft a time frame in which Steph Curry potentially hasn't made a shot. And I think that time string was very slick because people who try to make this argument, they use either two numbers. They use 20 seconds or they use 24 seconds as if those two numbers define clutch, right? But Bang completely contradicted himself because he said the greatest playoff shot of all time to him was Ray Allen's game tying shot which Steph Curry has multiple big time game tying shots that sent games into overtime. Multiple of those, and we'll see these in these clips. So the shot that Ray Allen made, a game tying three point shot, is labeled the greatest playoff shot of all time, yet Steph Curry has multiple shots like that in the playoffs. Multiple. And some against the Cleveland Cavaliers in the finals. As we see right here, game one of the NBA Finals. Clutch shot. I meet his criteria. Less than 24 seconds. Takes the entire team to the rim. Scores the and one basket. Makes the go-ahead free throw. That, that, that single play, that single clip right there, completely, I feel. And again, I can't make a decision on this. Maury's going to have to make a decision on this particular shot before we just simply show the compilation of clips. But that single play right there destroys that fake, destroys that fake clip from Twitter that was posted by Basketball Reference saying that he was 0 for 9 in shots with less than 24 seconds on the clock. Because as you can see right here, he just made a layup with 23, 3.5 seconds on the clock. And he makes the go ahead free throw to take the lead. It met the criteria. Yet, they don't, that, that. That image did not say one for nine, which actually, if you count it in its totality and you count all of those plays, he's actually four of 10 in those moments, right? We can put that graphic on the screen just to show evidence of that. The true graphic, the one that's done with real research, and I'll show you guys that right here. But that's his real shot marker in game time or go ahead shots with less than 24 seconds on the shot clock. Yet... Basketball reference, if this is even really from basketball reference, indicates 
as the Weezy Bank presented, as it indicates that Steph Curry is zero for nine in those particular moments. And we have one single play right here that debunks that amongst many, right? And, that, and, and, and then even on that particular graphic, and we're going to go back to that graphic right here before we go to Mari to allow him to make his decision. Let's go back to that particular basketball reference graphic. Okay, so we got this basketball reference graphic on the screen right here. It says Steph Curry is 0 for 9 in the playoffs on shots to take the lead in the last 24 seconds of the four, fourth quarter and overtime. Okay, so... That's not true because we just saw a clip of him making a layup with 23.5 seconds on the clock and then making the go-ahead free throw. So that's just one example of one of the shots that he made with less than 24 seconds on the clock. This was posted in 2019 and the game in which he did that was in 2018, which means again, this clipping right here is already factually inaccurate. There are actually four occurrences. The second thing that this clip tries to do is it says he's 0 for 9 in the playoffs on shots to take the lead. What this what this graphic sneakily does, and I, this is why I call it a finesse, is it doesn't even mention the game tying shots with less than 24 seconds on the clock. So are game tying shots, game tying shots, again, just like our Wheezy Bang mentioned in his uh, opening statement, he said Ray Allen made the greatest shot in NBA playoff history, but that wasn't even a game winner. It was a game tying shot. So even our Wheezy Bang understands that game tying shots are clutch because his the shot that he selected as the greatest playoff shot of all time wasn't even a game winner. It was a game tying shot, right? How many times, game? how many shots, and we're gonna play the clips, how many game tying shots has Steph Curry made? Right. With less than 24 seconds on the clock. How many game? How, how many go ahead baskets has he made with less than 24 seconds on the clock? All right. Remember, we'll put that graphic right back up here again. I'll show you. All right. So as you can guys, once again, I'm putting the graphic back on the screen. Right. This guys, we can see it. We can see it live and clear. Potential game time. Go ahead. Field goals. The final 20 seconds of the fourth quarter. In overtime in in the postseason career, Michael Jordan stands at number one. Obviously, we understand that Michael Jordan is clutch. Nine to eighteen in those moments, fifty percent in the field. Steph Curry is right behind Michael Jordan in those same moments. Four of ten, four of ten, forty percent from the field. LeBron James is ten to twenty-seven. Obviously, right there's a narrative around LeBron James where people say he isn't clutch, but he's made a myriad of these types of shots. He's ten to twenty-seven in the moment. 37% from the field. Kevin Durant stands at 5 of 18. Kobe Bryant, 7 of 28. Russell Westbrook, 1 of 9. And James Harden, 1 of 11. So why is there this narrative that Steph Curry... Remember, all we had to do was change one parameter, right? And not just change one parameter, but not use doctored and fictitious numbers about Steph Curry. If we don't use doctored and fictitious numbers about Steph Curry, the real number in these moments... Is that Steph Curry is 4 of 10, 40% from the field in these moments, in those clutch moments, if you wanted to define clutch as anything less than 24 seconds. That's if you use those odd parameters. To define clutch as anything that happens with less than 24 seconds in a game, I think it's asinine and completely makes no sense, right? Because what you're doing is you're using parameters that you can now manipulate and doctor to try to make any particular player look like he's not clutch or you can make any particular player look like he is clutch someone could use this same graphic right here for example and say oh kobe bryant is not clutch even though we all know and understand kobe bryant as being one of the most clutch players in nba history regular season or playoffs someone could use this this parameter of 24 seconds to say kobe is not efficient in the clutch he shoots 25 percent with less than 25 seconds 24 seconds on the shot clock we can use the same thing with kevin durant kevin durant who's hit major clutch shots big time clutch shots in the playoffs all right we've seen that back-to-back -back years against the cleveland cavaliers but people can use this parameter to say that kevin durant is not clutching the playoffs and we know that the man is clutching the playoffs because we watched him do it back-to-back -back years against the cleveland Cavs, even though he didn't make those shots with less than 24 seconds on the shot clock and try to say that he's 28% in those moments. Some people could even try to finesse and say LeBron James isn't clutch 10 to 27 in potential game time go ahead field goal moments. 
final under with 24 seconds on the shot clock, fourth quarter in overtime, and say that LeBron James is 10 to 27, 37 percent, and they could use that parameter to say he's not clutch. When we all know, if you actually watch the games and you understand that the entire fourth quarter is clutch, anything you do in overtime has to be considered clutch, especially in the finals and anything that you do in the playoffs, because everything is on the line, especially in the playoffs. So again, we bring it back to this oddly clipped reference, supposedly from basketball reference. All right. If that's actually where it's from, where so many troll accounts and fake accounts and weird posts, it's hard to say exactly where this came from. But it says Steph Curry is now 0 of 9 in the playoffs on shots to take the lead in the last 24 seconds of the fourth quarter in OT, which we know that's false. Remember, the actual number is actually 4 of 10 in those moments. If you're being honest about it, like right, we just showed you one single clip that debunks the 0 of 9. Right. Even if you just go off that one single clip. This this representation should at least say one out of nine. It should at least say one out of nine, even if you just take that one. Right. This clip says zero out of nine It's completely manipulated to make you believe Steph Curry hasn't done anything in the clutch. And they don't expect people here like we are here at FYF Sports and like FYF Fred did to actually go do the research and fact check them on these types of statements. Basketball reference. If this is posted by you, you honestly need to go and clean up your act, man, because people like us here at FYF Sports, man, we have a slogan here. Research purposes only. You cannot slip anything by us if you're going to say things like that about great players. You got to make sure that they're factually accurate and you better come with live video to prove as much. Right. This clip is even is flawed even more. This clip is flawed even more so because if you look at the games that were referenced here, if you look at the games that were referenced here. All right. It says Portland that Steph Curry missed a shot with 11 seconds on the clock. OK, he missed a shot with 11 seconds on the clock against Portland. But the Golden State Warriors won that game. Right. As you guys will see in the clips. This was a game that went into overtime and Steph Curry dominated to overtime, which is clutch by dropping 12 points on the Blazers to make sure that they didn't win that game. All right. We have another game right here against Portland where it says Steph Curry missed a, 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 a go ahead shot with three seconds on the clock. But it says that the Golden State Warriors won that game. So in games that the Warriors won, they they are using those games as a parameter to find him as being not clutch without mentioning what he potentially did in overtime or what he potentially did before or after these shots to lead his team to the victory. Also, we have another game right here against the Clippers. It says that Steph Curry missed a shot with 24 seconds on the clock, 24 seconds on the clock. All right. But it but the but the Warriors actually won that game. So what did Steph Curry do? after those 24 seconds right or what did he do before those 24 seconds to put his team in a position to win those games so three of these games listed out of the nine posted by basketball reference this is something that our wheezy bang used three of these games are wins by the golden state warriors how can you be not clutch in a win I, I, that's very odd to me if you win the game that this clutch argument goes out the door you won the game. You did what you're supposed to do. You made the shots that you needed to make. So to use shots that he missed in games that they won is also very odd. It's very manipulative, too, because generally we assign the label of being not clutch to players in losing efforts, not players in winning efforts. So it makes no sense. So what logic are we using? What logic are we defining clutch as? So we got players who are not clutch in wins now. Come on, y'all. We got to be better with these takes, man. These takes are completely fraudulent. So what we've already debunked here, and we're going to completely debunk this narrative that he's not clutch with less than 24 seconds on the clock. Because what we're going to do is we're going to play a compilation. All right. We're going to play a compilation of all of his greatest playoff shots. And we're going to play a compilation of all of his game, go ahead, game time or game winners also in the regular season just to completely obliterate this fictitious narrative. All right. And this narrative is solely being used just to say Steph Curry isn't the greatest shooter of all time. So many other arguments that you can use that would be a bit more logical 
But to say he isn't clutch and to use a doctor, fictitious uh, post by basketball reference. And again, I tell people you need to start doing your research on all of these things to use parameters to define clutches. The only thing clutch is, y'all, if you don't do it within less than 24 seconds, if you make a shot with 50 seconds, 40 seconds, 25 seconds to go ahead, that's not clutch. It has to be under 24 seconds according to this, according to this right here. That makes no sense at all. Especially in the playoffs, especially if we're using the playoffs. I would say in the playoffs, everything you do in the fourth quarter is clutch. We watched, we watched last year. Didn't we watch the Atlanta Hawks come back from multiple 20 point deficits in the fourth quarter against the Philadelphia 76ers? Weren't those fourth quarter comebacks clutch? Or is it not clutch because we didn't see anything, any major game winning shots unfold in under 24 seconds? Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. So let's not use flawed parameters in these debates. But again, that's FYF Fred's take. I'm just relaying the information to you guys from FYF Fred. Those are his arguments. We are gonna go to Maury to make the final decision on this second piece of evidence. This is gonna determine if we have to uh, go to open court Saturday and, and, and bring Bank up on executive charges uh, for for flawed a flawed narrative. Um, and this deceitful debate tactics in these basketball debates. But let's go ahead and get to Mari. Let's see what he has to say about round two and the evidence been, that's been displayed here. You said no, the lie detector test determined. That was a lie. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. No more shit, bro. Does LV. Hey, and there we have it right there, man. Maury just came out with the, with the final uh, executive impartial decision, man. I mean, first thing we got to do is, man, we got to give a big salute to Maury for taking the time to evaluate all of the arguments involved. Um, if you guys haven't done it, like I said before, make sure you guys go check out Oweezy Bang's video um, and, and make the decision for yourself. I mean, it's just like we did here. I mean, obviously... It's like an encyclopedia up here. And then, you know, as you know, FYF Fred is becoming a, a debate expert just, just by tagging along, man, listening, watching how we do things here at FYF Sports. And man, he's coming with the hammer with his own Max Ether today. Like I said, I'm just relaying the information from him. And we, as we relate the information to him, man, he just brought the clips in the footage. He brought the clips in the footage. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna summarize his strongest points. We're gonna summarize his strongest points. All right, remember at the beginning of Oweezy Banks' opening statements, he said to him, one of the, the greatest playoff shot of all time was Ray Allen's game time, not game winning shot from the corner against the San Antonio Spurs. We we know Ray Allen got the, the clutchest shot in, in NBA playoff history. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about easy. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but in my opinion, I think that's the greatest shot of all time. So that tells us right there, why you you should not simply use go ahead shots or you should not use a graphic that just shows go ahead shots and say that Steph Curry's not clutch. You simply you need to also use a graphic that shows game time and go ahead shots because your greatest most clutch playoff shot of all time is a game time shot, which is Ray Allen's shot. So there's a flawed logic right there. So you're using one criteria for Ray Allen. You're saying his shot is the greatest of all time. It's a game tying shot. But then you pull up a graphic that only includes go ahead shots with less than 24 seconds. And again, that is also flawed because that graphic is only trying in the implicating that anything you do with less than 20. That's the only time frame in a game which you can be clutch. Not 40 seconds, not 27 seconds left in the game, not 50 seconds left in the game, not a minute left in the game. It only is 24 seconds or less. And if you don't do it within those 24 seconds, obviously it's not clutch. And that's what he's holding Steph Curry to, which even that doesn't hold water because we all we needed to do was show you one clip of him making a go ahead shot with less than 24 seconds to debunk that when there are also many more in the playoffs that you guys can go see for yourself. There are multiple videos out there that detail this. All right. There are multiple videos out there that detail this. All you have to do is go watch. And we're talking about in the playoffs or in the regular season. So Maury's made his decision, right? So Saturday, we're gonna have to bring out 
We're gonna have to bring out the court, man. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to have court, man. Hopefully, we can have our Weezy Bang pull up. But he's gonna have to answer for this, because again, this is this is this is an atrocity in these debate wars. When we debate, right? When we hand down these Max Ethan, we break down people's talking points. You have to come with the facts, because FYF Sports is going to be evaluating things thoroughly, and you have to be very thorough when you come with a debate. And, and if you are willing to take the mantle to say that Steph Curry is not the greatest shooter of all time, you cannot use manipulated or flawed information such as such was provided by basketball reference as a talking point. And then that talking point is also manipulative and flawed in and of itself, as we've explained multiple times. Right. So this is not necessarily the case to make. I'm not necessarily even making a case or Fred is not even making a case that Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. He just didn't like the debate strategy that was taken because he felt using that graphic from basketball reference was just a horrible strategy. Right. That it looked like it was manipulated. Doesn't look like it was. It was a finesse. Right. That 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 graphic that he used also showed games that the Warriors won which completely made no sense because we only label these players not clutch in games that they lose. We don't really say that they're not clutch if they win, right? It's always about at the outcome of the game, right? Just like we don't define LeBron James as not clutch because he's lost six finals and he's had some bad losses. That doesn't mean he's not clutch, right? It doesn't mean if we... Just like that same graphic that I put on the screen, we could use that same parameter to say that, oh, LeBron James is only 37% from the field in game tying or go ahead shots. He's not that clutch. He shoots less than 40% in those moments. We could, we could try to be manipulative and use that to say that LeBron James is not clutch, but we know that would be manipulating the information because being clutch in the NBA is more than what you do in the last 24 seconds of a game in the playoffs. Generally, it's about the whole fourth quarter, how you close the game. If the game goes into overtime, how you perform in overtime, right? Are you able to get some separation, right? In some of those games, like the game with Portland, you guys go do the research. One of those games went into overtime. Then go look at what Steph Curry did in that overtime. Completely dominated the overtime, starts the overtime off by hitting four threes. But see, that graphic didn't mention that because he didn't do it within the last 24 seconds of the game. So come on, y'all. We got to be better than this in these debate strategies. Right, Saturday, we're going to be back live. Judge Lane is going to be back. Man, we got to put this on the mantle because I think FYF Fred should be up for a max ether if Aweezy Bang is found guilty of providing finessed uh, information from basketball reference. All right, we may have to reach out to basketball reference because these are things that they're going to need to clean up on their website. Right? If they're going to put information out there on these players to push a certain narrative, make sure that you're factual. Right. And make sure you're not using parameters that are biased. You, you don't design a parameter just to try to make a player look bad, because if we start putting other players under that same parameter, then we can try to be sneaky. You know, do, should I use that same parameter um, on the graphics that I put up? The graphic that I put up said Kobe Bryant was less than 20, 20 percent in the clutch. That, that graphic would. I could use that graphic to say Kobe's not clutch, but that would be disingenuous because I know Kobe Bryant is one of the most clutch players in NBA history, and I don't need that particular graphic or those parameters to tell me that he's clutch. I saw what he did in the fourth quarters of games. I saw what he did in the second halves of games. I saw what he did in overtimes. I saw how he led teams to big time wins, right? When their backs were against the wall, right? I've seen him do it. Being clutch is more than just making a shot at the buzzer. Right. And when you use those parameters, right, if you're going to use those parameters, make sure you use those same parameters to define your best player as well. And, and if it doesn't hold water, you better make sure you get away from them flawed parameters, man. But I think FYF Fresh should be up for Max Ether. Hey, you guys see it right here. We're going to go ahead to get to all of Steph Curry's game winning shots. Right. Because, you know, there's this narrative out here that he's not clutch. He probably has more game winning shots than a lot of people in NBA history. A lot of great players. Right. And we just paying homage to what the man can do in the clutch, man. Playoffs or not, man. Hey, it's FYF Sports, man. 
Been a great podcast episode. Salute to FYF Fred for dropping the Ether Hammer down today, man. Coming with the facts, coming with the visual documentations. And again, salute to Mari Povich for pulling up today, being that impartial judge, man. Passing down judgment. You know, it, it, he helped us determine if we need to take this and make an executive decision Saturday on this. But let's go ahead and get to Steph Curry's game winning buzzer beater shots, man. Uh, make sure you guys are following us on IG, Twitter, uh, because, again, YouTube is playing with these notifications. So make sure you're following us on all social media platforms. Links in the description if you want to follow us, man. But it's FYL Sports, man. Great podcast video. Let's run down these game winning shots, right, and completely ether any particular take saying that this man, Steph Curry, is not clutch. It's FYL Sports. And we out. Is the moment we've all been waiting for. For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Why you feeling so? When it get real, all of them stakes are dang, you already know. If it's too hard, we get a lick, can't be speaking no. Buckle the clothes and yell the ones who do it for the fun Oh, we can only know you're feeling sorry When it get real, all of them takes so they ain't ready, no If we too hard, we get a lit, can't be speaking, no Buckle the clothes and yell the ones who do it for the fun Oh, we can only know Fuck your feelings, big chest back in the building White pretty boy, I stay winning Chef Curry, Rangy Stevens, Splash Fuck your feelings, debate all day, that's fitness Eat your ass, that's fitness FYF, got a hit us yeah. Bitch, I'm the realest Alpha man strong, that's illness FYF gang, we'll win this Fuck the permission, slip bitches Ay. Yeah. Fuck your feelings FYF gang, be the realest Why you feeling sorry? When it get real, all of them specs Well, they ain't nobody know It be too hard, we get a lick Can't be speaking no the clothes and yell the ones who do it for the fun. Are we going? Are you feeling sorry? When it get real, all of them specs will they ain't nobody know. If it's too hard, we get a lick. Can't be speaking no. Fuck all the clothes and yell the ones who do it for the fun. Are we going? Are the paper chase hurdles and relays like a track meet. Drug fiends, bitches, foreign whips. Now that's my back street, stay humble. Be no hater, it's the consequence of success. Fast money always slows up. Gotta learn to invest. My flow, master, money, I stack it. In these caskets to women, I'm attracted to my haters. Outlast them, passport stamp it. In front of work and consignment, come on, that's a bad flip. Principles and stand on Waste of talent, sad song, beat down from 25, but the car dad said to 60. God, obedience, Jesus, repentance, the marathon continues, and I'm strong to the finish. Are you feeling sorry? When it get around, all of them fakes and they ain't ready, no. If it's too hard, we get a lit, can't be speaking, no. Fuck all the clothes, you yell the ones who do it for the fun. Are we going on? Are you feeling sorry? When it get real, all of them fakes so they ain't ready, no. If it's too hard, we get a lit, can't be speaking, no. Fuck all the clothes, you yell the ones who do it for the fun. Are we going on? FYF. No one measure, remember some three letters come with pressure okay. We be steppers, man, can't stop, won't let up Real debates, the haters gon' hate That's what makes this special, it come with level Yeah, this shit get better, no cap, new era We got ammunition for the opposition And plenty of witness, killing competition Catch a late night, you know, on a panel cooking But don't be fooled, this ain't your mama's kitchen They say they don't, but they watch and listen Typing in the chat, you ain't got a lot to kick it If you click the link, make sure you got permission And don't forget, nigga, fuck your feelings Are you feeling sorry? When it get real, all of them fakes so they ain't ready, no If it's too hard, we get a lit, can't be speaking, no Fuck all the clothes, you yell the ones who do it for the fun Are we going on? Are you feeling sorry? When it get real, all of them fakes so they ain't ready, no If it's too hard, we get a lit, can't be speaking, no Fuck all the clothes, you yell the ones who do it for the fun Are we going on? I know they ain't ready at all 
stay ready, time to ball No referee, I got shots to call Believe I'm the best, so I'm better than y'all Fuck your feelings, you know that's law Running it up, now we running it back It's that full court pressure, don't cut no slack Jam it to the max Ooh, bank count still full of racks With that competition, they done went missing The champions here, look how the ring glisten It's honorable mention, don't ever forget it It's FYF, don't care about the ticket You know we with it, yeah We gon' do whatever it takes Fuck all the hate, FYF still going down It's one of the greats Are you still the son? When it get real, all of the respect So they ain't ready, no If it's too hard, we get a lit Can't be speaking, no Fuck all the clothes, we yell the ones Who do it for the fun